this video we are going to see the quick sort algorithm uh, which based on the divide and conquer technique here also we divide the array into smaller smaller sub problems we sort in such a way that it reaches uh, one each uh, sub array consists of only one element and then sort and then combine so here a large array is partitioned into two arrays one of which holds values smaller than the specified value say pivot based on which the partition is made and another array holds values greater than the pivot value the main difference between the other algorithms here is uh, the array is sorted within itself there is no uh, some other array that is another array we require where we uh, then and there we use the, it as a temporary array and then again rewrite in the original array it's not like that that is what we have seen in our match sort where we declared one more extra array and then uh, we sort small small surplus and then we put it in the temporary array and finally and then we uh, replace it in the original array so that is what we have seen in the match sort but in quick sort it is an in place sorting means uh, the the sorting takes place within itself so you are using the same array sorting so which means it doesn't take an additional array to sort the data so it uses the same array to sort the elements so given a large array you have to partition in such a way that you select a pivot element and the elements to the left are, are made to be smaller than the pivot it will be arranged like that and to the right they will be greater than the pivot element so this is how we arrange so and that we call it as a pivot value here uh, some short pivot algorithm is pick an element called pivot rearrange the array elements in such a way that all values lesser than the pivot should come before the pivot that is to the left hand side and all the values greater than the pivot should come after it this method is called partitioning of the array at the end of the partition function the pivot element will be placed at its once it is done the pivot element find its place and it will be in a correct position so do the above process recursively to all the sub arrays and sort the element base element base case so what is the base case since we are using recursive there must be a base case if the array has zero or one element there is no need to call the partition method so the, uh, with this we end the thing and we uh, take the next recursive call and we solve it this is a quick sort algorithm initially we pass the array and the starting uh, index of the array and the end index of the array then till when start is less than n till it is n we do this three so these three first we are going to see the partition here partition we pass this array starting and end after this partition will have the pivot element and it will arrange in such a way that to the left of the pivot element the values are small than the pivot and to its right it will be bigger value like that it will partition that is why it is called given the name partition then we call the quick sort with the pivot in pivot index that is index minus because already the pivot element has found its place so before that element that is p in, that will be written as p index so that pivot element index minus 1 that is before the pivot value here again the quick sort will be called with after the pivot value because why we leave this as minus 1 and plus 1 is the p index is the correct has been placed in its correct position in a sorted position so now we are going to take care of the uh, left sub array and right sub array again the left sub array will be applied the same thing partition will be done there your new pivot element will be formed and then again the sub array will be formed then quick array quick sort will be done there it will be sorted now this is the partition so here this is the array start and end first we initialize the p index to be the starting and pivot to be the n here a pivot element can be taken as a first element or second element or the last element or some random element so it is left to the user so here what we have taken is array end end of the element 
you have taken the whole array unsorted array and the last element is taken as the pivot element so that we move that to have its correct location so here uh, from the starting to end what we do is if the array of i from the starting from the first first value we are checking whether it is less than pivot element if so then we swap the array that particular array with the index p index then we increment the index or else we just skip if it is greater then we just move we don't increment the index etc so finally we swap the array n and index in this case it will find its correct location so now we are going to explain this algorithm with the data so now this is the algorithm this is a pseudo algorithm of what we have seen here uh, let me show that see here this partition this partition now we are going to see then after partition then we are going to call this quick sort that is what we are going to see yes. so that is what pseudo algorithm is written here so initially index will become the start start uh, index will be assigned to p index then pivot this is nothing but array end and then we have a for loop and if the each and every index value is checked uh, 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 the value which is in that index is checked if it is less than the pivot then we are swapping the particular value with the p index then increment the p index by one then we complete the for loop once it is over then we swap the array and in this case it will the correct the pivot value find its correct location and then we return that to the program where this p index will be used for calling in the quick sort where this is mainly used for splitting of the array this p index so now let us uh, uh, see this example see here this is the unsorted array okay so first initially i will be one let us start because we are starting from i so let us say here start equal to zero and p index equal to zero because uh, p index is also equal to start element so that is now initially it is zero then n equal to 4 because 0 1 2 3 4 this is the fourth index so n is 4 and pivot is as i said we are going to take the last element so that we are moving to the pivot now we start in the for loop initially i equal to 0 now it is pointing to this and p index is also pointing to this now we check whether this is less than pivot yes it is less than so it go inside the if club where we swap the array of i with array of p index but when we swap both array of i and p uh, array of p index both are same so uh, it will uh, it, uh, even if it swaps it doesn't have any effect so 10 will be there in that place now increment the p index by one so here now the index is incremented p index is incremented and i also becomes because of this for loop i also is now here now then we are checking whether array of i now 25 is less than 20 false no so what happened uh, this will not go inside the if class now uh, i becomes 3 but whereas p index if it goes inside only it get incremented so p index is still uh, 1 only now uh, i is 2 array uh, that is this is the arr of 2 now we are now we are checking this with the pivot value pivot is our 20 so it is small 3 is less than 20 true so now here it goes so what is the array of i it is 3 array of p index is what this 25 so these two get swapped now we are swapping them now swapping and p index is made to point to the next one it is incremented so now 3 becomes here see like this and 25 is here and index is p index is incremented here then now i is the next element which is nothing but uh, array of 3 because 0 1 2 3 array of three. now it is pointed here now we check whether this element is less than the pivot element and we do up to only n minus 1 which is nothing but if n is 4 up to this only we will do because this is the pivot element this is what we are checking so before that only we do so here uh, we check is it less than no it is false so when it goes next automatic already it is it has become equal to this three that is n minus one so the for loop is over now it comes to the next final statement let's see this statement swap array n and array index so array n is this okay 
P index is this. P, if it go inside only index increment. So P index till it will be here only. Now these two values will be swapped. So after swapping 20 comes here and 20 pay. Now the 20 find its place. So this is for the P index. So what is the P index? It is 0, 1, 2. So this will be sent. Now P index is 2. Now here P index is 2 and it is written on the new array. Now after this is 10, 3, 20, 50 and 25. Here it is. So P index is now here. Subarray. Now what we have to do after the partition, it, the data will be passed to the quick start. So how you will form the subarray from 0 to P index minus 1 and array of P index plus 1 to array n. This is how you split the array. So here if you see why it is index minus 1, index plus 1 is because we have to leave this because it has already found its place. So we should not take this. So before this and after this only you have to take these two, these two values. So in which case how you will pass the uh, parameters to the quick sort, quick sort array. Here it is the, uh, we will see that algorithm. I will show you that algorithm. See here, array star p index minus 1, array p index plus 1 and n. So this is how you pass the algorithm, pass the parameter. So array uh, start is 0. For this, it is start is 0 and p index is one, 2. So 2 minus 1, it is 1. Then another one is p index plus 1, which is nothing but 3. Already p index is 2, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 comma 4. Now the recursive call starts. Let us take the first one here. So partition function execution for the above subarray is 10 comma. With these two values, start execute. Now starting is 0, 0 index, n is 1. Now p index is, uh, for this you have to find new p index. Okay, already here start equal to 0. And so what happened according to our uh, algorithm here? Start, p index is start, p word is array n. So here p index is 0, that is start. And p word is the end of the value, which is nothing but our 3. So with this, we execute. So what happens? We check with the value. Uh, first, it will be 0. And it will check whether it is less than. No, it is not less than. So here itself becomes false. So what happens? And it is only one element. So according to our algorithm, it is, what happened? n minus 1. So 1, 1 minus 1, it is 0. So only one time this executes and it comes with this statement where array n and array p index are getting swapped. Already p index is 0, array index, array is 0, uh, p index is, uh, that is 0 and array here it is 1. So these two gets swapped. Now, so these two find its locations and p index Send is 0 here. So after this, your uh, array will be like this 3, 10, 20, 50 and 25. Now we will see the next one. Now p index value returned by the previous one is 0. Okay. So with that we proceed to the next one. So the next recursive call will be array of 0, 0 minus 1. Isn't it here? So starting is 0, 0 minus 1. So there is no minus 1 index. So this is an invalid and this will not get executed. Then here 0 plus 1 will be the next one. So 1 and the n value is not. Since it has only one element, no need to execute. So it's the partition function will not be executed for these two arrays. So it is over. Now, uh, so this is how it executes. You can see that then 0 and 1. Now we have start is 0, end is minus 1, start is 1 and end 1. So this one, pictorically it has been represented. Now we will take the next call, that is this set. Now this is over. Now for the right subarray, we will resume partition execution of the array 50 and 25. So starting is what here, 3. So that will be the p index again. Each time it will be initiated according to the start location. Then end equal to 4, p index is 3, i is also equal to 3. Then p what is 25. Now that is the last element. So now when it checks whether it is less than. If it is less than then it will go inside the if class and swap. But it is false. It is bigger value. So the last uh, statement that is here. 
this statement swap array n and array p index array n is what here array n is uh, this array n is this and array uh, p index is this so these two get swapped like this 25 so now uh, so the next recursive call will be this is done now the rec next recursive call will be because this is the p index is it 3 3 is the p index so array of 3 comma uh, that is uh, p index minus 1 which is nothing but 2 so now it is a invalid index then next one is p in, uh, index index value is 3 3 plus 1 which is 4 comma 4 only one element so there is no need for execution so that's what so Finally, the recursive call. Uh, here, if you take this 3 comma 2, 3 comma uh, 2, it is again because it is a lesser value. So, it is invalid. And uh, that is what we have pictorically represented. So, 3 comma 2 and here 4 comma 4. Finally, we get the sorted array 3, 10, 20, 25 and 50.